and hoping for salvation. We praying that we're Israelites. We're praying that we're the Lord's elect. You see what I'm saying? We're hoping for salvation. We don't want to feel the Lord's wrath. We want to feel his love, not his righteous anger, his indig indignation. See, that's the beautiful thing about it. Even all this applies to Israel, still, you heathens got to get your judgment too. Because anytime you take this Bible, or take the, uh, the, th the Torah, the Torah, and claim it's yours, guess what? You're going to take on the curses also. So guess what? Since you want to claim you're an Israelite, or you're a Jew and you're not, you're going to get the curses too. Because when the kingdom is set up for a thousand years, like bro said, you're going to get our, our curses that we're going through right now. The cup is going to be passed unto you. You're going to have to suffer. You're going to have to go through turmoil, pain and anguish, dealing with your woman, calling you all kind of disrespectful names, losing jobs, getting, getting the short end of the stick, so to say. You see what I'm saying? Our cup is going to be passed on to you. That's right. That's right. Okay, Job chapter 21, verse 30. It says, That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Okay, read that again, bro. It says, The wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. So what it means that the wicked is good is this. Reserved or reserved for the day of destruction. Meaning what? Uh -oh. Meaning that what? Just because the Lord ain't punished you right now, that don't mean He's not going to punish you. Some of y'all are just, like the scripture says, reserved for the Lord's wrath. Even y'all that's 155 years old. You may be living to be 190 for what? To be, to be reserved for the Lord's wrath. You see what I'm saying? Judas is, is here on this earth again. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Hell, the, uh, the Romans that pierced the Lord in the side is here again on this earth. So the Lord is what? Reserving you for the day of wrath. You done lived all this time thinking you done got away with murder, but guess what? You're going to feel the Lord's wrath soon and very soon. You ain't got away with nothing. You may have beat the criminal system, but you ain't beat the Lord's system. Chapter 10, verse 10 says, But the Lord is the true power. He is the living power. And an everlasting king. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble. Meaning what? The Lord is bringing great destruction to this place. You, you're going to tremble out of fear, and the, and the earth is going to tremble from the nuclear missile, missiles hitting this place. Like you said, the earth shall reel to and fro like a uh, drunk. You see what I'm saying? It says, a nation shall not be able to abide his indignation. So it means what? When the Lord come with that cruel and, and, and fearful wrath, you won't be able to stand it, man. You're going to be running for fear, trying to duck and hide. And you can't hide from the Lord. 
finna ride through your house about shooting me out a shot, man. You think he can't see if you hiding in the sewer? No, the Lord is still gonna get you. He may send a, a, a boa constrictor, a, a big 40 foot boa constrictor, 40 foot long, about 500 pounds to come down there and suffocate you and eat you whole. We might send 500 rats to eat you alive. Or he could send a million fire ants to come and nibble on your face. Yeah, you don't, you don't know why it's going to Right. Ain't no running, man. That's right. The Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans just need to come back to Los Angeles to the madness, man. Right, Gabriel, y'all, man. Y'all need to bad, bad, man. But if you don't, man, you're going to be missing for them. Then he said he's gonna use these people as, as uh, fuel you, for his fire. Right. That's missile food. Right, you're gonna be missile. That's you're gonna be missile food. Right. <laughs> That's missile fuel food, man. So missile food got a little bit more meaning after the day. You're gonna be literally missile food, man. That's right. That's right, man. It says, uh, you got some more? It says, Jeremiah 10 and 11. Thus shall you say unto them, The gods that have not made the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and from under these heavens. Meaning what? Everything that you put up on a pedestal as a god, above your hell by shooting out with shot, they're going to be destroyed too, as well as you. Like bro said, you're going to be missile fuel. Even your God, your false idols and images are going to be missile fuel. See what I'm saying? This is a serious situation, man. This is nothing to take lightly. The Lord could come with this raft tomorrow or an hour from now. Give it time. See what I'm saying? But you people are not taking heed. They don't care. They comfortable, man. They love this world, man. So they want it to go on and on. They want to stay in slavery and all. Ain't nothing good for here for y'all, man. Yeah, most people don't even enjoy uh, life right now. They just live. That's right. You know? That's right. They just going through the motion, man. Because they know this place is dead, man. Allah won't be able to save you in that day. The Lord is going to destroy Allah.
saying? With a loud voice, fear you have will give him glory and give glory to his name. For the hour of his judgment is come. That's right, the hour of the Lord's judgment has come to you Edomites, you wicked crap. You wicked white people. That's right. The Lord is coming with his indignation real soon right. to judge all you people. Starting off with you crackers on down to the two-thirds of Israel, you Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. Go ahead, bro. It said, and to, and to worship him that made heaven and the earth and the sea and the fountains of water. And they followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen. It's fallen. The great city. What is Babylon? That's modern day America. That's what we're going to be saying that Babylon is fallen. And it is fallen right now before our face. Any moment this dollar could crash, man. Right now, gas is going back up. See what I'm saying? That's what? Inflation. Meaning what? The dollar is losing its value, man. So they got to raise the prices of things, what? To make the dollar seem like it's still alive when it's not. This dollar is actually floating off a of hope. And that's part of the Lord's wrath. Putting y'all in a trick bag to believe in this paper, paperless society, man. Because right. pretty soon that chip is coming. That RFID microchip is coming. And if you take that chip, the Lord is going to kill you. Point blank, period. It don't matter what you heathens, you white people, you Africans, Chinese, Japanese, Hawaiians, you, uh, uh, who else? You, uh, East Indians, you Arabs, it don't matter. You can take the chip. It's meant for you to take the chip. But if you Negro, Latino, Native American take that chip, that's it. Like bro always said, you ain't got to worry about the dog. Uh, what is that? You ain't got to worry about the catching the dog. Yeah, you got to worry about the dog catching your ass. Right. <laughs> uh, you see what I'm saying? You got to worry about your how about shit me out with shot coming to destroy you, man. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Said, Great city because... And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling. It's falling. That great city. Because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. See, which is what? Her democracy. What does democracy bring? Homosexuality. Rebelliousness. Putting women on a pedestal. Worshiping them as queens. Making men feminine. Make them faggots. Make them soft. Make them worship the woman. That's what democracy brings. Gay rights. Women rights. Putting you men back into a caveman mentality. You see what I'm saying? That's what democracy brings. Lies, deceit, murder, bloodshed. You see what I'm saying? saying and a third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. What is that, the RFID microchip? Go ahead, bro. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of your house. See? What is that wine of the wrath? That's destruction. Hell, chaos, turmoil. <laughs> willful, uh, what is it? Willful, uh, what did that definition say? Willful, uh, willful, was it willful destruction? For the word cool. Uh, willful, uh, I think it was like willful pain or something. See what I'm saying? The Lord is going to bring destruction to you, man. Those that, that take this RFID microchip, you're going to, what is that? You're going to uh, drink of the wine of the wrath of the hell by Shimei was shot. So willfully causing pain. See? Willfully suffering to others. Willfully causing pain or suffering to others. That's the wine of the wrath of the hell by Shimei was shot. Keep reading, bro. It said, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. What is indignation? Righteous anger. Go ahead, bro. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. What is that? That's these thermonuclear missiles, man. It says, you, you shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, man. Damn. Go ahead, bro. In the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. See? That's hell. So that's a cut saying that hell is under the ground. So if hell is under the ground, then how is it that you're going to be tormented in the presence of the angels and the presence of, of the Lamb, which you call Jesus Christ that we know as Yahweh Shah. So how is you being punished in hell forever 
of the angels in the presence of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shot. That's why people like that is going to be destroyed. Why? Because they love this society. This is the white man's heaven. See what I'm saying? That's why they fly, ride around with them big ass flags bigger than they car. Because they love this oppressing city. You know why? Because this is their heaven. They love anything that oppresses you Negro Latino and Native Americans. But you Negro Latino Americans don't see that. See what I'm saying? That's why the scripture says, see the Lord always send an example because why? He partake of this of Babylon democracy. So guess what? He's gonna drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's gonna fill the cup of his indignation and be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, which is Lord willing, we're some of those angels because the word angel just means messenger. And to prove that, I'm finna get some rock. Oh, that's good. Niggas, man. 
Dre and Trey Songs and through all these faggots, man. Our people be in their right mind. That's what we praying and hope for, man. The salvation of Israel, man. That the Lord looks out for our people. Even though two-thirds got to die on this side, when they come back to the kingdom, they're going to be in their right mind, and that's what we're going to rejoice about, man. You see what I'm saying? You got any more? So with that, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, shot. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and much love, peace, and blessing to all your elect brothers out there that are pushing the truth across the four corners of the globe. With that, death to America. Death to America. Death to Indianapolis. Death to Indianapolis. Quam Rashallah. Quam Bakar. Shalom.